We're thankful for the beautiful weather to be out here on our State House grounds. On this, the 150th anniversary of which Abraham Lincoln was laying in state here at the Rotunda. And so you'll see different uh, observances around the uh, State House today and take opportunity while you're here meeting with your representatives to do just that. The number of school children will be here visiting our State House as well. We're here today to support voter photo ID requirement for Ohio. This is legislation that's being introduced by State Representative Andy Brenner of Ohio's 67th District and the co-sponsors, some of which are behind me at the podium and will be speaking in just a moment. Why this legislation is important is that Ohio, the battleground state, is a tempting prize uh, for campaigns and for individuals who want to game the system here in Ohio. And through the Secretary of State's post-election voter fraud report of 2013, uh, which indicated that voter fraud is on the rise here in the state of Ohio. He discovered 625 irregularities and 135 cases that were turned over to local law enforcement at that time for prosecution. One week after that, the Columbus Dispatch uh, reported here in Franklin County 90 cases of double voting. Uh, later that year in December, the Secretary of State issued another report, non-U.S. citizens registering in Ohio and voting in Ohio. 291 that actually registered in that year, and then 17 which cast a ballot. But that report has been updated. Last month, he testified before Congress. 436 non-U.S. citizens have now been discovered to register to vote in Ohio, 44 of which they indicated cast a ballot. What this tells us is that there's a growing trend of voter fraud in the battleground state of Ohio. With 28 days of open voting still on the books here in Ohio, there is too much time for those who want to take advantage of our election system to do so. Whether that be by a fraudulent uh, provisional ballot, whether it be by voter identity, whether it be by mail ballot, which was discovered in Hamilton County, where three non-Ohio residents cast a ballot in Hamilton County, and that was pursued by the prosecutor there. Now, sometimes the opponents of this legislation will say, where is the numbers of voter fraud? I've given you some of the numbers, and facts don't lie, they're stubborn things. What we do see is an increased trend of voter fraud in the state of Ohio. For instance, in Summit County, uh, provisional ballots making their way into the optical scan machine for count. In 2013, the county discovered that there were nine provisional ballots. They're not to go in the machine, they're to go back downtown for vetting, but they've discovered that nine had made their way into the machine. Once it's in, it's counted. They don't know who those voters were, they didn't have proper identification when they showed up at the polling location, yet those ballots were cast. That's just one of Ohio's 88 counties. But in 2014, after the Secretary of State issued a memorandum to uh, train poll workers to be more careful and observant of the provisional ballots. Now they're into the double digits. 16 made it in in 2014. You see the trend is growing. So to adopt voter photo ID requirement for Ohio, the Citizens Committee that conducted a citizen's audit of boards of election in the aftermath of the 2012 election, one of the top recommendations was to adopt voter photo ID requirement for Ohio. We're here today to talk to our representatives in the Ohio House and the Ohio Senate to do just that. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to the bill sponsor, State Representative Andy 